Go for the full damage shot. Kill him, man. Ah, I am done with this game, dude. Like, what is this? Yeah, up. Bro. It, it, it perfectly sums up how bad this game is, man. It per Perfect, perfectly sums up how trash this fucking game is, dude. That clip. The community are so upset about Wheel Tanks War Gaming. What's killing you? And the third one completely misses. And. Hello, boy. Extent. So we believe that RNG is a healthy element for the game, as it makes it more entertaining. So we believe that RNG is a healthy element for the game, as it makes it more entertaining. Hello guys, today we are going to do a reaction video on a have some epic guys opinion on RNG. I'm going to be focused mainly on RNG section from their video. If you would like to watch a whole video, I will paste it into the description. First thing I would like to say that uh, I mean no harm to them. This is not a personal attack. I uh, like those guys, I only wish them best. This is rather going to be reaction on uh, something stupid which was said and with a bit of luck push them to think twice about it. I also believe that uh, with a certain amount of fame you can create impact and that is dangerous because we are risking that some things like RNG may never be fixed. Okay, let's get started. World of Tanks contains a lot of RNG. Some people claim to love this and some people claim to hate this. Okay, I really wish to see people which love this, especially when they are missing their shots. Then. Uh, catch fire two times in a row. But really, if such a people exist, let me know in the comment section. I think most of the people who hate it would kind of miss it if it was removed though. Now, Oh please, do not talk on behalf of those people. Some RNG would be okay, not RNG which is deciding winner despite not deserving it. It needs to be reduced to ashes and chances of winning should be equal on both sides. Don't get us wrong here, certain elements definitely need consistency to prevent people from <coughs> ripping their brains out, lol. Exactly, as you saw in the intro. But some elements definitely flourish from it and make you go lol. <clears throat> and without the RNG there would probably be less laughs and more rage. We're talking about fires, amorax, module damages, crew damages, damage rolls, RNG, you know. These kinds of things that just make the game a more whack. Actually, it is almost opposite to what you said. With less RNG, it will be less rage moments. And lol moments, it will remain the same. Very good example for this would be Counter-Strike, which is eSport, a game worldwide played, where you can spend years practicing spray patterns. And when you finally get it under control, you can essentially eliminate RNG almost to none. But of course, there will be always other factors which will be causing it anyway. Like latency, or human mistakes, or being in the right time or the right place. One thing is for sure, that you will never run out of the lol moments in any online game. Three, two, one, go. There is absolutely no need having more RNG in World of Tanks. 
All of these random elements breathe a wealthy amount of personal battle stories. Oh, you know that one time I had two hit points and a full health mouse came charging at me, but a Jagpanzer E100 shot him and set him on fire and then I amoracked him. You know, these little stories that are created on the battlefield thanks to the RNG just makes the game a more wonderful place. Wonderful place for one side, horrible for another. And I can tell you for sure that horrible experiences in World of Tanks by far exceeding happy moments. Pot RNG is one of the designs which is supposed to manipulate you into spending more money. Those happy moments which you mentioned will be constantly hammered by rage and at the end of the day most of the people will feel terrible playing World of Tanks. We genuinely think that the RNG alone, all the seemingly endless possibilities and scenarios that can be played out thanks to it, make people revisit the game due to how unique one playing session can be compared to another. I am pretty sure that games being unique due to RNG are not making you revisit the game. Games would be unique anyway even without RNG, just like every team sport game in real life. Most likely, what is keeping people returning is Stockholm Syndrome, motivation to unlock, or hope of having fun today. Quote unquote, having fun in World of Tanks is like bone which is thrown to the dog occasionally just to keep him interested. Of course, RNG can sting when it happens to you, but you usually forget about these moments. <laughs> This guy has probably spent one week of reading reviews for his new monitor. Ask him how fast he forgot about that. While the epic RNG moments that benefit you will be remembered for the rest of your career. I don't know about the others, but epic RNG moments for me in randoms are easily forgettable, unless they are recorded. They will simply blend into the statistics. What is memorable though is for example winning big tournament in esports. That you are going to remember. If, of course, you are pursuing pro career. We are genuinely convinced that World of Tanks would be dead a long time ago without all the RNG element, as the game would not be such a rich source of cool storytelling and memes anymore. This is most stupid claim I have heard from your entire RNG section and I'm going to answer with some facts. The prime time of this game was between end of the year 2016 and start of the year 2017. At that time, game was in enjoyable state and that was also the reason why population was growing. Guns were shooting most of the time accurately. Armor was reliable. Tanks have had weak spots. No OP premium tanks. No OP revert tanks. No EBRs. Let me show you some visual examples. Jump to the other point. What was the most requested changes by community before 2017? And what they did? Hopefully now you understand why World of Tanks would not die with old RNG mechanics, even if there is less of it, and why population would not decline that fast without fuckups after 2017. But why would Wargaming keep doing this to such a successful game? Possible theories that they wanted to shorten lifespan of their game by themselves. Of course, that is just a theory. 
but do you know what would make perfect sense during the shorter life of the game? Increased profits! And there we go with the amplified RNG frustration mechanics. There is one more fact about this story which is worth of mentioning. Let's do quick Q&A. Do you know what else was living along with the game before 2017? Yes, And do you know what died after all those accuracy changes, RNG changes take place? You can guess it. Yes, Sadly, amplifying on RNG mechanics wasn't the only sucker punch which Fargaming gave to the entire ASL division. It was also armor penetration indicator, which I consider to be most underrated and undiscussed problem in World of Tanks. Because why would we have a game which emphasizes skill, weak spot knowledge, experience in angling? Let's rather have this dot which turn green when you point it on weak parts on the armor, add current RNG and just like that fun turn into this abomination game. Well, there is obviously a bad side to the RNG too. This is mostly directed towards penetration RNG, which is honestly pretty bullcrap. To be completely fair in my response, I have to say I agree on a lot of things which you said here. Not just penetration is pretty bullcrap, also armor reliability is pretty good bullcrap. Solution is simple. Penetration value of the shell should do as it is described. Plus minus 5% would be ok, and armor should stop those shells where effective armor is higher than that value, so we do not have to deal with shit like this. going to skip to the point where I want to express my concerns. This is where many competitive players get upset and move over to vehicles with a higher base accuracy parameter. But even then you will get trolled by the game's accuracy RNG. It's mostly painful when it's one of those shells that really needs to hit to win the game. And we can agree that it's frustrating as heck. But we have never really viewed it as a problem. How do you not see this as a problem? when it is frustrating as heck. Can we at least at this point agree if accuracy RNG would be reverted back to 2016 state, everything would be straight up better? It's just a part of how the game's engine works. Everybody has to pay respect to it, and since it's so established into the game, you can usually expect it. It's one of those aspects of the game, again, where you can make active decisions with RNG in mind. How about those decisions when you decide to peak, completely miss your shot and receive damage? You cannot do active decisions. You don't know what will be the result of them. You can even die from one unlucky peak. You can be set on fire from shot or moving tank while you are missing your shots. With this in mind, you should be scared to peak and come whole game, but it's better not to. What you are saying does not make any sense. It would make sense if accuracy and penetration physics are reliable. If you experience that your tank is not hitting anything, you simply have to get closer to the targets. And how close I need to be to not miss my shell?
It's an interesting dynamic of the game that encourage active play and more aggressive play. If every shell landed exactly where you aimed every time, many tanks would probably become overpowered. Again, if we consider accuracy mechanics from 2016, RNG was still there. Dispersion was still there. Despite that, the shots were hitting bullseye much more often. Was there any power creeps or petangs like in 2022? Nope. What else was not there? Harmon penetration indicator. Without it, how would you know if you are going to pen lower plate from longer distance on a well angled heavy tank? Just experience and knowledge was your friends. Reverting back to this would be in fact indirect nerf to OP tanks like Chieftain or 279E. You would be able to hit cupola from medium range. Accuracy is one of the most prevalent balancing factors in the game, so removing it would give every single tank in the game sniping capabilities, which would ultimately result in every player in the game just sitting around in the back as their guns are reliable enough to hit weak spots from 300 meters away. It would discourage active play around the map, and it would make tanks with armor as main selling points even less relevant than they already are in the current meta. Some people have proposed to just decrease the accuracy RNG, but this still works towards the same non-dynamic environment as removing accuracy RNG altogether, just not as much. This is yet another stupid claim as we already had this. Game which was better in every way and nothing what you are describing was happening. It is not easy to hit moving tank which is taking cover from 400 meters and there is no reason not hit the tank which is exposing himself on open. You have to deal with the prediction, shell velocity, penetration loss over distance, etc. Important thing is to remove armor penetration indicator from the game in this concept. Also, Wargaming would never change the accuracy or in the game because it encouraged more gold spam, lol. I don't understand. Have you ever checked the history of the game? Wargaming has already changed accuracy a few times in the past. From bad to better. From better to total shit what we are having now. Keeping accuracy in this idiotic state is sufficient reason for money players to stop playing the game. Better accuracy also would narrow the gap which was created by introducing bond equipment between good players and casual players. As this pay to win crap should never have been a thing. Good players would be happy too as they struggle with strangely repeating pattern and there is magically missing critical hitting players with lower personal rating as I'm showing in my other videos which you will find in the description. We think the accuracy RNG is good as it is. There are probably more underlying issues that can be addressed to decrease the general frustration of accuracy RNG such as map design. It's not good as it is but I agree with you with the map design. Okay, that's about it. The last thing which I would like to touch is uh, your very next topic in the video and that is 15-0 raffle stomps. You have described it pretty good and there is nothing to disagree with, except you haven't mentioned RNG, which have pretty huge impact there. Just to give you an idea, for example, what can a team of unicorns which are missing shots do against team of green players which are penetrating their turrets? Nothing. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Yeah, I'm going mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. I'm going mainstream. Mainstream. Flow like water, so I'm going mainstream. Same goes for the greens versus yellows, you got the point.
Everything else in your long video is pretty relatable and honestly very well done. And the reason why I decided to uh, respond to your RNG section was because promoting something which is supposed to milk money out of people is just disgusting. Please do not take this as an attack. I just wanted to bring some light into the topic while trying to remain friendly. We even used to be uh, teammates with the Edwin and spend good amount of time platooning together. There was no hostility intended. Check out their awesome content. Take care and bye. Oh, of course! It's fun! Does he outplayed me, man? Fuck my fucking cock, man. The fucking dumb fucktarded RNG mechanic, man. Fucking cancer, dude.